Real quick on the dry land, I said we, st uh, we started out with, with group dry land, Katie doing two sessions a week in group dry land. Um, I threw in a, a third session for her working one on one with a, a personal trainer for lack of a better word. Um, towards the end of the year we started her having to do two sessions individual and, and one session with the group. Um, it's real important to her to be part of the group, she enjoys it, they feed off of each other. Um, she's a little bit more serious than some of the others in group dry land, but that's an issue with them, not hers. Um, pretty basic. I hate to tell you, it's not rocket science on this. Shoulder stability, core strength, little bit of strength work, not a lot. Probably the biggest key for Katie in a lot of ways is just learning how to use her body, some of the coordination, some of the, the, the multi-faceted uh, movements that she needed to learn how to do. Um, We'll do more as we move forward on this. We didn't even start any dry land until December. Uh, that was not by design. That was by the fact that I started with the program in early October. They really didn't have a dry land program. Occasionally they threw med balls around the pool deck or something and I didn't think that was very safe. They used to run a little bit until the people that own our pool told us we couldn't run around campus because the scantily clad girls were distracting the prep school boys. I kid you not. Um, so we didn't really get going on a dry land until December and uh, this year we'll start it up from the very beginning. Um, some of the technical aspects we worked on with Katie during the year. She's got that little gallop stroke and um, I obviously had seen her swim before I started coaching her and she had that hitch in her stroke and you immediately want to change it. I either was smart enough or couldn't figure out a good way to change it, so we sort of left it alone. I listened to Yuri explain it a little bit a few times. I'm still not completely sure I understand it. Uh, she breathes to her right almost exclusively. Occasionally she'll breathe, breathe, uh, breathe to her left, but not very often. Um, and we'll probably just continue with that little bit of a gallop stroke. Her turns in underwaters were something we did work on and I've got a whole section of presentation later that if our internet connection is working I can sort of show you last year's 800 turns and this year's either 400 or 1500 turns and you can notice the difference. Um, kicking, I would constantly remind her to keep high legs. Uh, I know yesterday Matt Credit said it was blasphemy when he said pull with the top hand coming out of the walls. Well, I might be blasphemous to some of you. I want her legs out of the water. I know that your, your gut tells you lots of times you're gonna get more propulsion having the legs down there doing a lot of work, but for every bit of work they do, I think it creates too much drag. She's better off having the legs up, keep them up out of the water. Sure, she gets good propulsion or doesn't get as much propulsion out of them, but she's not creating the drag when she's way down low with them. So a reminder to keep her legs high. Um, tempo, I probably did more work on this than she did and by that I mean I was checking her tempo more often during practice to see where she was than I was making her aware of. Um, part of the reason that I was doing it so much is the first time I saw John Urbanchek uh, while I was coaching Katie, I think we were at Short Course Nationals and uh, he just said, how's Katie? And I said, I think she's okay. And she started swimming and he said, one four on the tempo, she's fine. And that is something that John had learned with her and I'm gonna to touch a bit base on that a little bit later. But uh, that one three six to one four range is where she's most comfortable. It's her natural, natural tempo. If we can get her to swim that way, we're great. She gets a lot of power through her hips. Um, if you look at any video, you can see that. And I have here a soft right hand catch. That's not a good thing. That's one of the, the bad things that she does. Left hand gets in there, boom, you think it's grabbing onto a cable. The right hand kind of sits there for a little bit sometimes. I and mean, when she gets tired and there isn't paying attention, maybe when she gets bored, she's got a real soft right hand catch. So I'd like to get that, that right hand to, to catch a little bit firmer up there. So those are sort of the, some of the technical things we worked on over the course of the year. Um, if we get a chance, I'll show a video later. I stumbled across this picture though. If you can see, that's Katie on the right. 
and she's got that left hand extended and the hips turned and you can't even tell the legs are up but that's kind of where I think of her swimming from okay she's got that awesome awesome catch there on that okay and that's that's where she gets all of her power from on that the right hand's not not quite so strong and I think it may be where they are in their strokes maybe not if you compare it to the the two people next to them they just they just look weak they, they're not generating any power from their their hips or from their arm position or anything else um, probably one of the, the best compliments she got was this past summer Barcelona she swam the 400 free and while she was swimming in her right after she swam it or something Ricky Barron's turned to somebody, I don't remember who it was, and says, man, she swims like a dude. <laughs> and, and, yeah, and at which point we said, yeah, going 359, she beats most dudes too. So, um, but I think that's a, a real compliment to her. Um, so here's the season. And I'll be honest, I was making up some of it as I went. I said I didn't start with her until after the season had got started. Uh, she'd just been back in the water in September. I came in in October, was a brand new coach. Sat down and had some goal setting discussions with her. The discussions went sort of like this. I had the whole group sit down, fill out an index card, put your name, put your phone number, where do you go to school? It didn't mean anything to me, but I had them write it any anyway. Uh, something about yourself, your pet, your favorite sports team, whatever else it is. Turn it over and write on your back a swimming goal. I didn't really define it any more than that. I said, turn it over and put your swimming goal on the back. So I collected all the cards. I'm going through them and I'm reading the goals and some of them were wonderful things like get better at my freestyle. Um, the other ones would be, you know, make my high school medley relay team. Um, I picked Katie's up and I turned it over and it said, break the world record in the 800 free next summer. Okay. Put that one aside and moved on to the next one. I mean, that... That was about the extent of our, uh, our goal setting discussions. Um, she is very goal driven and she was very clear. Uh, she had a couple other things back there too that were beyond this summer that uh, we won't get into, but um, you know, break the world record in the 800 free next summer. Okay, that was it, uh, as simple as that. Um, a few weeks later I did sit down with her and we talked about I don't want to say what else, like that wasn't enough, but we talked about what other opportunities might be available to her. Um, and that's where we came up with the, she wanted to swim on the relay in Barcelona, a relay, obviously the 800 free relay was the most likely one. And we said, let's try and win three medals. We didn't say what events. Uh, we had the 200, the 400, the 800, the 1500 and a relay. So I figured we had five shots at them or five possibilities. We said let's win three medals. We didn't say gold, we didn't say silver, uh, three medals and she had written the, the, the world record. Um, so we went to work, swam eight, eight to ten weeks with the weekly cycle we talked about, uh, swam 8,000 meters on Sunday morning before short course nationals, went down to short course nationals in Texas, went 144, 434, 15, 28, all lifetime best for her, check, done. Went back to work, same thing, okay? We went eight to 12 weeks, same weekly cycle we talked about before. Took three days rest for her high school, high school uh, championship, it's not really a state meet. People told me going into this high school meet, they said, man, it is pressure packed. They said, you have never seen anything like the pressure and the intensity at this high school meet. And I'm thinking to myself, I watched the 800 last summer in Barcelona where the defending gold medalist from the home country. That was a little bit intense. <laughs> but anyway, we rested for, for three days. She went to her high school, went 142 and 431. Not so bad off of three days rest. Check. 